Do you still snog? <laughs> Do I still what? <laughs> snog, French kiss. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and then and then can you tell me about your first or big love in three words? Oh, my first and big love in three words. Um it's oh, I just wanna every morning I wake up and um I say to myself, today I'm gonna kill him. But I'm just be like, Oh, I love you. <laughs> So I would say like, yeah, hate in love relationship, that's love. Yes, I yes. agree, actually. I yes. agree on that one. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing the between. There's nothing between. And they actually say they're very close together. They're very close connected together. Yeah. Those feelings. I'll show you today. <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's normal. I think that's normal. Yeah. And then... Uh, how important do you think music is to one's love life? Oh, music is important overall. Like, you know, like just love is not just lo lo a lovely relationship between a couple. Love is loving universe, loving what you do, loving your family, loving your kids, loving food. Come on. Yes. Yes. Music, music it's an inspiration. It's... Mm. It lifts your mood when you feel down. If you want to cry, it helps you cry. <laughs> yes, that's true. Honestly, music is so, it helps you relax as well. It's so important. Yes, no, I agree. I agree. So and is there a special song that will bring you back to, you know, that moment when you fall in love and you have the butterflies in your stomach. Is there one song that will bring you back to that? Um... Yeah, I think that song, it's one of my favorite songs, Lady Gaga's. Um, I just can't think about it right now. It's one of my favorite songs. Um, Can you one, sing a bit? Can you sing a bit? Says, Tell me something, boy, that one. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Shallow from that movie, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. very beautiful, very beautiful. Yes. And then how important do you think dance is to one's relationship? Dance is very important. Dance, mm. dancing together or enjoying your life. Dancing in general is very important. It's so important to move your body, but let alone moving your body with joy. Dancing is very, yes. very important. I agree. I agree. And do you use music to get inspired to your fashion? A lot, a lot. Yes. Mm. It puts me in the right mood to, it puts me in the right zone to start working. It's one of the rituals that I do. Play my music, have my tea or coffee or cup of juice, water, whatever next to me, and then just get messy with my fabrics. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And is there one song then that you particularly like putting on or in general different genres? It just literally is different genres every day. Depends on my mood. Nothing in particular. Yeah, yeah. Love. yeah. But that's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. And um, and in your in your fashion uh, and beautiful, I know as we spoke about uh, together a bit, you have actually been to Cannes. Can you tell us all about yeah. that? Oh my God, Cannes was just a beautiful exp experience. Like it. Whenever I think about it, my eyes just tears up because it meant so much to me and it meant so much mm -hmm. to my brand. The fact that I made it, like I, when I created this brand, I created it with big dreams. Be like, yes, I make bespoke pieces, statement pieces, red carpet pieces for it after two years, <laughs> only after two years to actually be in the red carpet. Not just my designs that I designed for Sandra, which was beautiful. She looked amazing at it. Yes. I, I I had the chance to walk the red carpet as well, wearing my designs. That was very empowering. And it was just like a dream come true. No, oh, yeah, but you deserve it. You're so talented. You have such beautiful collections. And talking about that, you actually won an award. Yes, the best collection award. <laughs> With my first collection, yes. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. You must be super proud, and you know, I am. I am. But you know how yeah. with, with our with 
uh, ambitious people like us is always like, what's the next step? I want, I want something bigger. Okay, I have achieved it. <laughs> next step on the next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do dance and That's celebrate in between. I do dance and celebrate in between. <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually said to me once, and now with my movie, I'm actually walking the red carpet in Amsterdam. Septimus oh, yeah. uh, Award. My movie's been nominated. So oh, maybe wow. I should come over to London and have a have a look with you. Definitely. Yes. Congratulations. That's amazing. Yeah, no, I'm very, very happy. I'm excited. So my parents are also coming and you know. Oh. So it's gonna be wonderful. Because oh, I made I made that movie with um with them in mind, you know, because they, they've been married for over fifty yeah, fifty three years. Oh wow. Long time, yeah. Wow, that's very long time. Wow. Yes, very long time. Right. Yeah. And and what about dance? Do you use dance also as an inspiration to your design? So it's it's so weird that you ask this because I've never used it before, but I had a t-shirt launch uh, event last Sunday, just two days ago. Um, and the t-shirts, it's what it was my first time not so because I do couture stuff, it was my first time doing kind of like a streetwear t-shirt, and the inspiration was James Bond, the man with the golden gun. And instead of a fashion show, I had the models coming and doing a hip-hop dance in James Bond theme music. It was oh my god, like even though I had the vision myself as a designer, I just looked, I was like, I didn't expect that, they're amazing. <laughs> It definitely added a lot of, left it a lot of energy in the, in the event, in the venue. It was a small venue. It's my first time doing a solo event. Um, over 150 people turned up. Wow. I, I've received so much love. And the vibration in that, in that room was just so high. The energy was just so high. It was beautiful. And of course, just dancing just added a lot of value to it as well. Yes, I can imagine. Oh, what yes. a great idea. What a great yes. idea. Yeah. The models yes. were wearing heels with the skirt and then the t-shirt, gloves. So it was beautiful. <laughs> wow. You have to send some photos. I'd love to I see will. that. I will, of course, I will. Yeah, 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 definitely. And um, and tell me, what, what are, I mean, all of us are curious, what are you up to now then? What are your next projects? I'm working on a very, very special collection that's very special to my heart as well. It's, as a designer, of course, like you will get that, as get this, as an artist, your personal experience is always a motivation or always an inspiration for your artwork. Mm -hmm. um, recently, last winter, I was going through a lot of I was experiencing a lot of panic attack and anxiety attack I just started out of nowhere and it was a very hard winter so it was a process of me like understanding why is my body reacting like this instead of being scared which is so much easier said than done um that really inspired me to create this collection it's all about overcoming um overcoming mental health issue and talking about mental health which is taboo in mm. my um especially in my culture uh, so that's kind of like my inspiration for my next collection but also how to find the divine within and connect with yourself so I'm so excited oh I'm so happy and and so important that you are actually communicating that because there's so many who are struggling with their mental health issues and it's so important to ask for help totally and, uh, yes and as you say to speak openly about it it should be actually something everyone should discuss at school at home uh, everywhere it should uh, it's be very, communicated it's very important i think i'm so grateful for having experiencing that here in london rather than imagine if mm. i was back home that be going through that they would have no one would have got it and that would have made it even worse the beautiful thing about yeah. me hey I have I had good friends around me that were there for me and understood what I was going through even though I didn't but I trusted that they know what I'm going through so I'm gonna trust that I'm gonna be okay 
And it's so important to know that everything is going to be okay at that time. Because when you go through anxiety attack and panic attack, your rational brain mm -hmm. is not working. It's all, all mm -hmm. what you see is danger, danger, danger. So yeah. grateful. I'm grateful for people around me. So in, in your culture, they would brush it under the carpet and it would be like, uh, it's not happening? Or, yes. Yeah. Yes, no, they will, I didn't know that. They, they will do that. They brush it under the carpet or they would see like, oh, just go and pray. Just go and read the holy book. You're going to be okay. Um, mm. Or like, you're not praying enough. That's why you're going through this. Or so they don't treat it. They don't treat it as a real illness, unfortunately. Mm. And no, that yeah. And unfortunately, yes. they don't have the right therapist there as well. So it's so important. It's something that I really want to work on in the future to have them connected to the right therapist because the therapist there back home, they mm. don't have much knowledge as well, unfortunately. No, imagine, but that'd be very good. Imagine going to the therapist and telling him that, oh, but I feel like I'm going to die. And the therapist will be like, you should go and pray. Come on. Yeah. No. no 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 you have to have someone listen that's yeah. so important that that you feel people and as you said to have friends who who actually will listen it's very lucky to have those friends so my mom always said to me you can count your very close friends on one hand and then you're very lucky and it's true yes. even if you just have one person who will we take agree. the time and listen to to you it's uh it's crucial we mm. all need it. Yeah. Totally. Totally. It's very yeah. Nice. And then and then in the UK, I'm so happy, as you say, because there are lots of helplines mm -hmm. that you can call. There are a lot of, you know, there there is, um, uh, they raise a lot of awareness around it. So with your collection, I can't wait to see it. You yeah. should actually make it worldwide then. And so it reaches your country as well. I hope so. That's the dream. Yes. The dream. Mm -hmm the dream definitely definitely and how does how does the word music make you feel how does the word music makes me feel i would say hope it gives me hope music always gives me hope i think music is the only thing that kept us connected um when we didn't have social media when we didn't had access to each other in different words but we would still listen to each other's music in different languages without even knowing what it means but we we would still enjoy it the same way yeah. it would still it, it was the only thing that kept us connected before social media and technology so that's the hope um the reason why i say hope as well now because where i'm from afghanistan um since the the new regime took over um music is banned music is, has been banned the yes a lot of instrument has been broken um people are not allowed to practice um music or being artistic so what even though they're not allowed to listen to music because if they actually caught them listening to music they're going to be punished they're going to be put in jail but they still go and do and listen because that's the only thing that gives them hope. Mm -hmm. Listening to the ancestors' music, what my, what our ancestors were singing in our language of love, of the life, of the freedom. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. That's why I say music is hope. Let's pray for hope. Yeah. Yes. That's really beautiful. Oh, thank you so much for taking the time and speak with me. That was so lovely. Thank you so much Thank for the you. <laughs> and we should talk yes. about your red carpet adventure as well. Yes, that's in September, 20, um, yeah, 25th and 26th of September. Yeah, love to, absolutely yeah. love to. So I will come over to London and we see each other in real yeah. person and I get to give you a proper oh, hug. Thank you. <laughs> I would love that. I love hugs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. Me too. Yeah, well, you're you. such a wonderful person. It's so lovely to meet you and you're so creative and talented. I love your collections thank and everything. You. And thank you so, so happy for your success. It's so wonderful. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for all this being here. Yeah. <laughs> and have, have a lovely day today, yeah? Huh? Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Lovely. Bye. <laughs>